Hey Jubers, from Bart 49ers Corner coming at you with the uh, bi-weekly mailbag. It's been a little bit uh, since the last time we saw each other. Wife popped out two baby boars. So this family thing escalated quickly. So staying busy, I'm trying to cram in a video real quick. But got some good stuff, got some pickups, and then I got a 26 card PSA sub back as well. So let's get right into it. I really like this card. Only a mint nine, but it is pop one with none higher. Ninety-seven pinnacle inscriptions artist proof. The upgrade forming. Sixty-two tops. Leo the Lion. And a PSA eight. I'm real happy with this. The price I got for this wasn't cheap, but <clears throat> way, way cheaper than the 400 plus that I'd seen the last three go for over the last two or three years. So, for the win on that one. <clears throat> I'm going to pick up a 10 card 1955 Topps All American lot. Um, so, I thought it was a good deal. And I'm I want to do that set at some point. Got a couple of cards already for it. Only a couple. I had it in BBG. Well, I had 25 of the 100 cards in BBG and then sold them off when I realized Beckett for Vintage was garbage. And uh, now I'm slowly picking them back up. Got the Bruiser Grenard. It's a Hall of Fame rookie there. I already had that one, so it's an extra. But again, the deal was so good that uh, I could do that. Um, Leo the Lion. I have this in an 8.5. This one's only a 7. So those two are on the bay. But got the Ace Parker. That's a Hall of Fame rookie card there. Got uh, Ernie Nevers. Nevers. Nevers, I think. That's another Hall of Fame rookie. Jack Green, all of these are sevens. Vic Hansen, Charlie Brickley. This is beautiful cards. Love this set. Governor Allen, Dwayne Purvis, and Bo McMillan. This one was a cool one. I do the, I look up the history of these players and stuff. And this guy played for Center College. I think uh, it's been like two weeks since I looked, read this, but in Kentucky. And they beat Harvard way back in the day. And it was the upset of the century. And uh, that was pretty cool. This tiny little BF college in Kentucky. Um, and he was an All American for it and stuff like that. So pretty crazy. 26 car sub. Let's get into it. High end, well, I had a couple cards turn into high end cards, which I'm super happy about. And then I had some low end riffraff stuff that I thought was in really good condition and didn't get very good grades. But we'll get into it. 99 SP Authentic. I bought a couple of boxes of this and all I got was junk. I got a couple of autos that are okay, Hall of Fame autos, but they're only worth 20 bucks because they're such mass produced, I guess. But a couch only got an 8.5. I submitted that because he's the number one draft pick. And I submitted the McNabb. Got an 8.5 as well. So, no bueno on those. I tried to sub this. I thought it was a 10 guarantee, to be honest with you. Um, I tried to sub it for a buddy that always hooks me up. Because he keeps getting 9s as well. I was hoping to get a 10 for him. All I got was on that. Frank Gore Refractor Rookie. Got the nine. Oh well, but it's PC. Just kind of wanted a little rainbow, a part of the rainbow, whatever. Really excited about this. I didn't know what I was going to get on this one. I don't. The left to right centering is not perfect. I don't know. I don't know. 09 chrome. This, the surface just is always suspect. Always, always suspect. But the Clay Matthews rookie pulled a 10. Couldn't believe that. I will take it into the PC. 
He was a future Hall of Famer. So I really don't have any Hall of Fame cards in my set that I've subbed, and I've really tried hard to get a couple that I've subbed that are of the quality or grade that I'm going to keep. And I don't really have any. I've got a couple in there that are just going to get replaced at some point, but the Alan Fanica got the 10. It's from O2 Upper Deck XL, future Hall of Famer there. Thought this was a 10, otherwise I wouldn't have subbed it because I have one, but Frank Gore, 05 score, got the 9. There's another one I'm real happy about. Potential future Hall of Famer, but at least on the all-time sax leaders. Robert Mathis, 2005 score, got the 10. That is now a pop of 6, so pretty stoked on that. This one... Now it goes to the garbage pile. Got a seven and a stain. Didn't think it would do that bad, but Hall of Fame rookie, I didn't want to unslab, I guess. But I didn't think it would be that bad. 85, Peyton. You're just not going to have one of these cards and not sub it, right? Only got an eight. Already got one of those. Uh, I'm sure he's got one, but Nate Hollis, if you don't have this card, just let me know, and I will send it your way at some point. Pretty excited about this. 87 Kelly. GM did. Not his rookie for most of the sets on PSA, because he's got the 84 USFL card, which I have in a 9. Um, but this is his first NFL card. 87 PSA 10. Say, so, uh, I got a couple of these and I upgraded and bought a 10 not too long ago. But again, Hall of Fame rookie, I'm not just gonna let it sit around. I thought it was in pretty decent condition, so I sent it in. Got the nine for Say, um, had this card, I pack pulled this sucker back in the day. Finally, just sent it in. I thought it was a guaranteed 10, apparently not. Uh, Adrian Peterson, hot rookie. 07 score gold zone it's out of 600 got the nine uh, me and this guy are just not getting along this year can't do anything good on his subs Mario to orange got 8.5 don't ask me why this one then. 12 chrome Patrick Willis gold got a 10 Obviously out of 50. This is the one I have is full rainbow. Plus a print plate plus a super refractor. And this one's pop two. And I have the other one. So it's down the bottom row over there. Realized I didn't have enough Navarro Bowman. So I got one of his gold cards. Boom. Pulled the 10. Pop one. From 14 chrome. You just never know with action packs. I thought this thing was spotless. And I got an 8. What are you going to do? From 91, rookie update. This one, my, I only sent one Jerry card in. And just because it's an all black card, I thought there was no chance I'd get a 10. Just like, there's no way. And if I ever find it in 10, I'm going to buy it because I love this card. And I got a 10. Pop a 1. And the coolest thing is. This is a 93 Skybox Premium poster card, Jerry Rice. I had this poster on my wall for a good number of years. So, one of my new favorites. This is one of my top 10 favorite from the Rice cards now. And I got a lot. So, that's saying something. Alright, and then I think the rest of these are some slum cards that I needed for like some 49ers Super Bowl sets. Daryl Pollard, Fleer Update from uh, 90. This is not a, doesn't have 10 centering at all, but give it a 10, pop two, I'll take it. Uh, not worth a damn thing, but I needed it. The rest of these 90 scores, I think the grades are garbage because I handpicked these things. Dennis Brown got an 8. Sapolu. And, uh, K 
Kevin Fagan an 8.5. I don't know what the hell is on with this one. Who's calling? Got a seven. Not sure what they're looking at on that one. I'll. I got a couple of unopened boxes. I'll find one. Send it in. Ricky Ellison, eight point five. And then send in another Ricky Waters rook. Gonna build his set here. Yeah, I only have one card left to get. 91 Ultra got the 10. These are tough. These top and bottom borders. They can look perfect, but it's not what it's supposed to be. It's weird. What looks like it's normally centered is not. So there's more on the bottom than you think should be. And you get to 10. What are you going to do? And then there's the Offensive Rookie of the Year. And uh, Mike Ivey sent me, I think, two of these. Picked up the best one, sent it in, saved me 20 bucks from having to buy it pre-graded. Leonard Russell, 91 Stadium Club. Boom. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Take care.